to my mind at least, a great deal of um, evolutionist um, anthropological uh, scientific um, thought on what it actually means to be a human and how did we get to be the way that we are is based upon certain assumptions which in my experience at least are at best problematic. Many evolutionists, or at least many evolutionists that I have come across or that um, I have heard of or listened to uh, and um, based upon my interpretation of what they have said seem to hold that it is possible to understand what it, what was going on in the minds of uh, proto-humans of various types or proto um, homus modernus uh, uh, types a very long time ago. Now I would posit the view that that is not an easy thing to do and that in fact attempts to do, to do it are almost inherently doomed to failure. Now I'm not trying to generalize about anything, um, let alone the subject matter that I'm uh, talking about right now, and uh, I almost hesitate to say the things that I'm about to say for fear of being br uh, taken the wrong way, but here goes. Um, I live in a city where there are a fairly large number of one, what one might call quote-unquote primitive human beings. I told you that that was going to raise a few eyebrows, but I don't mean it that way. Um, there are a very large number of Aboriginal American people in the city that I live in, or as I would call them, Aboriginal Canadian. Now, these people, to my mind at least, are kind of a link between the modern world and the uh, original human beings. I am not trying to say that these people, that uh, the, the Aboriginal uh, Canadians are primitive or stupid or retarded in any way at all, but what I will say is they are probably the best living evidence that we have of how people thought a very long time ago. Um, I think that an Australian who's uh, familiar with the Aborigines or a uh, uh, New Zealander who's familiar with the Maori or an American who's familiar with the Hawaiians or perhaps even a Finn who's uh, familiar with the Laps will tell you the same thing. There's always the terrible tendency to generalize about these people. They're drunks, stupid, um, backward. Th these are all the horribly racist things that are that are said about them. But the what I'm trying to get at is what is it that makes these kinds of people think the way they think? They don't necessarily think in ways that you and I believe are practical. Um, they are just as metaphysical in their thinking as anyone else. In fact, one often gets the impression when dealing with uh, one of the real Aboriginal sort of people, and I'm not talking about the, the ones that have essentially become um, members of the dominant culture or the underclass. I'm talking about the Aboriginal who has remained an Aboriginal but hasn't been destroyed uh, by the... Um, the vices of modern uh, life. He's the closest thing that we've got to the the ancient, to the truly ancient uh, human being. And the evolutionist would have us say that a lot of his thinking was practical. A lot of his uh, a lot of his uh, point of view was based on simple survival. Um, this kind of thing. A lot of his development was based upon purely Darwinian lines. I would say that that is not really an accurate view of what the quote-unquote caveman of 20,000 years ago was probably like. I'm certain that occasionally um, primitive human beings, again quote-unquote, started to talk about things like this after everyone's belly was full 
after the women and children were uh, were, were were safe, um, after everyone was certain that uh, that that all the basic needs had been met, someone pointed up at the sky and said, "What do you suppose that is?" Or someone said, "Why do you suppose we're all here?" I don't believe the evolutionist point of view that says it's all a question of just staying alive or being practical. We don't have enough information to actually decide one way or another what these people were thinking. And again, my personal experience with the people that I've come across who may have a, at least a little bit more in common with uh, with the original human beings uh, does not back this up either. Thank you.